Hello. Hope everybody's <clears throat> sorry. Hope everybody's doing really good day today. Um. Oops. Okay, they searched everything now. Um. How's everyone doing? There we go. Don't mind me. I'm also eating ice cream. Fuck, I forgot to open up my, my chat. So I have put in a shit ton of work. <laughs> when I'm not working on personal matters, I managed to complete. Oops. Uh the entirety of the Pokedex. <laughs> Minus the two starters and legendaries. But everything else is complete to research 10. Uh, did the live alert get deleted? The first one, yes. I'm hoping a second one goes out soon. But yeah. <laughs> did a lot of work. I could send one right now if you got it. I got it typed out. Okay. I think it would be appreciated. Today. Thank you. So I'm, I'm going to be working on a lot of story stuff today. I've also been working on... Um, well, I kept my, my Pokemon to the side, but... I forgot to clean my crap out. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, no mad I did. Uh, finals Wi-Fi stopped dying? Uh, okay. I, I said to send it. Is Twitch being weird again? Set. Hundred thousand for mechanical cabinet. Wow. See, do I have all the parts now? Did you already redeem the RCS Adventure Code? No, I did not, but thank you for reminding me. Um, so yeah, I have a, I have, I have all five parts now for Rotom. Cool. Uh, how do I? Um. Is it capitalized? I would assume so. Nice. I'm glad they're being a little bit more forthcoming with the the gifts today, or the this time around, because they didn't went back when it uh, platinum and pearl and whatnot. They didn't really do it very well. Which starter do you think you'll pick? Sprigatito, Wicoco, or Quaxi? Well, fuck if I know. I haven't even thought that far. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till like, like I see some more, like, 
generational Pokemon first before I start picking that kind of shit. But as of right now, all three of them just kind of look half-assed. The, the, the grass cat one looks at least half decent, but they're not impressed this time around. I hope you guys don't mind me eating ice cream. I got ice cream. into a battle soon. My Pokemon aren't like that good. Well, they're that good, but they're not my main team. Picking the cap, it looks the best of all three. Exactly my point. I'm, I'm, I'm one for aesthetics, not for stats. Each Pokemon Noble set became frenzied, and now each one of them has been quelled. We still have no explanation for why this calamity befell us, but I'm glad to see it put to an end. Is my mic? Okay, there's my mic. Give me a second. There we go. Hopefully that's better. I'm still going to keep my mic slightly distance because I'm, I'm eating ice cream. Do you think peace would be restored to Hisui by the hand of a mysterious Riftborn helper? I like that. Riftborn. When tomorrow dawns, it will dawn on a world restored to normalcy. At long last, we will be able to return to our normal lives. Yay! Go nourish yourself. <laughs> what a weird line. Go nourish yourself. Now the wallflower and allow yourself a good long rest. Don't forget the server core's not work is not over. It does not until our people can live here in Hisui without without fearing the Pokemon around us. Nice. On, honestly, I think Gen 9 is also gonna be like the first time in a long time that I've picked a grass starter. Besides uh Rowlet in this gen. How many unknown have you caught? All of them. It's the it's the only one uh, that uh, like you need to catch all of them in order to complete its research. It's a nice size about helping a potato mochi, Benny old chum. Or if, and if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. <laughs> We're sick of eating potato mochi. Give us something else. <laughs> Are, are, do you have any? Are you having any issues, Rose, uh, catching an unknown? <laughs> having all the nobles quelled puts a grave threat to rest. It's now time we focus on our survey work, though we can't. We still can't let our guard down around regular wild Pokemon, of course. Is that Moki that they don't ever stop eating? Oh, yeah, he just comes in and just starts like shoving fistfuls into your mouth. I certainly had my reservations as to whether Avalok needed quelling. But if it means bringing calm to everyone, then I suppose we did the right thing. Yes, someone might have been under attack by some friendly noble Pokemon at this very moment of final and come falling out of the sky. I still wonder though, what is a space-time rift anyways? What will make it finally go? Wait, if the rift were to vanish, would that leave final stranded here? I guess so. Well, the team is certainly very practiced at investigating things by now. We'll look into the matter and find a solution. I have no doubt. And if we, do, even if we don't, we'll always have a home here in Jubilee Village. Final. Nice. Now then, tomorrow soon upon us, and it'll be another hard day of work for the Super Corps. Don't forget what we've got our sights on. Nothing less than a po completed Pokedex. About that, Lavington. <laughs> How far into the game are you? Uh, a mostly completed Pokedex. I'm just missing the starters and all the legendaries. Um, well, most of the legendaries. And, uh... Spent two hours trying to beat a particular battle and still haven't beat it. Um, so, right now I'm just... I just, technically in storyline, I just finished calling Lord Avalog. Anyways, Tony, how, how are you doing?
but two hours beating a battle kind of scares me. And I'm glad so. I'd rather actually like Pokemon have like a half decent challenge. That's right. We'll get it done with the final in the lead and me as the vigil valiant assistant. Assistant, come now, Akari. Don't sell yourself short. You're a full-fledged member of the Survey Corps. But what brings you around anyways, Tony? Well, thanks for that, Professor. Then I guess I'd better eat my fill and get plenty of energy for another long day tomorrow. She's going to come out of nowhere and save me, isn't she? Man, I hope so. Make the... Make the... Uh... Arrival actually useful. Strawberry posted in Carrie's server. Uh... I unfortunately don't know who either of those are. Strawberry, 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 strawberry. Blue strawberry. Unfortunately, I don't know the name. Also, don't know who Carrie is. Also, there was an explosion. Disaster looming. Oh boy. This is day one of the shoutout season, so I'll be starting with my... Oh! I think? Was that on Twitter? No one carries Discord server. Interesting, okay. Carry, 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 carry. Why am I drawing a blank? Is Carrie their, their full stream name or? So the mods are posting other streamers they know? Oh, okay. What's happening? Why was it disturbed from my sleep? Oh. Final. Where to find Togepi and Tugetic? Uh, I found Togepi in the... Hold on, give me a second. Blue Strawberry is a mod that sent the stream. Okay. Blue strawberry. Some sort of dreadful energy seems to be pouring from the rift in space time. Now the entire sky has gone red. And green. I saw green. Okay, so Togepi is in the Cobalt Coastlands on the s usually on the southern like the southern area, like the beach, just before the little uh, rock gateway. And Togetic is flying in circles in the Crimson Mirelands on the far, far eastern edge of the map. Quite close to that little garden area. I have word from the commander. You're to report to his office at once. The sky turning red is all your fault final. Ah, shit! Sky indeed has changed. It is ominous, very ominous indeed. What is this about, Commander? You did call us here to discuss the calling of all the nobles, didn't you? That can wait. There is a more pressing concern that here that must be addressed. The first strike of that strange lightning, the one that drove Cleaver into a frenzy, it struck the night the final fell out of the sky, did it not? It only seems natural to think that the two events might be linked in some way. Who or what are you really final? Uh, am I being attacked? A Cervic Corps member? Indeed, you've done all I ordered, but does not answer the question of who you really are. You came from the rift, adds to the lightning. You're connected to these frenzies, are you not? 
Did you think to gain our trust by quelling the frenzies you, you yourself brought about? Having gained our trust, what then? What is it you really uh, hear after? After here. Hold on, Commander. There's nothing to suggest that Final has wronged us. Wait, Strawberry. Uh, is is that their like username, or is that is it just a nickname they go on Discord? Blue strawberry. Exactly, and besides, you really think he's got the sort of fearsome power it take to make all this happen? Let me ask you in turn. Can you prove beyond a doubt that he is free from guilt? Actually, Tony, if you're still kicking about, I have a better idea. Can you can you post that link to the Discord? This person, the stranger, appeared out of a rift in space time. Who can guarantee he is here? He is who he says. Who here can guarantee who he, he is to be trusted? But that's no one can do that. You're asking us to prove a negative. How is anyone supposed to prove the absence of all doubt? Come on, let's be reasonable. What is Final supposed to do then? He will be given the chance to investigate this latest disaster, but not as a member of the Galaxy team. He remains a suspect until he can clear his name. There are those in his village who cannot trust a stranger like you who fell from the sky. And so I must ask you to leave. You are no longer welcome in the galaxy team. Oh, boy. Consider yourself banished from this village until you can explain why these calamities keep befalling our good people. No, until you've restored our world to its rightful state and proven your innocence beyond doubt. Is that clear, Silene? Yes, sir. How can you act so heartless? Don't you believe in me? Do not attempt to intervene on his behalf. I will do as I must as the commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Get. <laughs> but I have not forgotten your deeds, nor the unusual skill you have displayed. That is why I have chosen to let you walk out of here free rather than to clap you in chains. Oh boy. Need more ice cream for this. This is... You're to be expelled from the village? What? Well, why? Orders are orders. Hank Silene. Let's go. I guess I can't buy anything. This is actually quite the turn, and I like this. We can take it from here, ma'am. Understood. However, the decision was mine to accept the stranger as a member of the Survey Corps. It is only right that I should personally escort him from the village to the Fieldlands camp. I'll also see him off. As will I naturally. I'll allow it. Then I'll mark you all, as, all down as bound for the Fieldlands cape, camp. Safe travels. Oh. Second. Okay, I get the last bit of ice cream. Ow. Whoa, it's good ice cream. Oh boy. 
Oh, there goes the controller. All legendaries except two that are mythicals. Locked until post game, like the day break updates. Okay. I already have one of the mythicals, I think. Well, two of them. Hmm? Sorry, it's just discussing stuff. So, okay, sorry. Can't believe the boss would do this. You were acting on his own orders when you quelled the frenzied nobles. Quite right. Moreover, when you did happen to fall from the sky, that hardly gives you the power to turn it red. This is utterly intolerable and, might I add, absurdly so unscientific. Scientific. Ugh. As a man of science, I must fight such a logical thinking tooth and nail. You must not. You'll only cause final more pain if you were driven out as well for defending him. I love how those two actually care for me. However, there are others who might offer help. You've been an aid to both the Diamond Clan and the Pearl Clan. Of course, perhaps Adamant or Irida might take you in. Though I'm afraid they've both already returned to their uh, respective settlements. Perhaps you can go try to find uh, Leon first. He's likely to be at the Grand Tree Arena. Don't die alone out there. That's an order. Is that her caring about me? Thanks, Eileen. I'm sure you have all all you need to complete the the survey the commander has tasked you with. If I might offer my advice, in this life you will meet both admiration and abuse from others. How others choose to view you is only a choice they can make. You cannot make it uh, for them. All that truly matters is that you hold firm to your own values. What, what of the dream I first shared with you on the Prelude Beach? To complete the Pokedex. That's, that dream simply won't come true without you. But Akari... Well, I at least be able to. Let me let me get my. Oh, well, this time I'm able to take my Pokemon. Not what I meant to do. So yeah, all 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 uh, litters. Uh, my my main teammates, and then I have seven Chinese right now. And for my six, let's go with. I know it can be found in the ruins of the Crimson Marlins now, if you don't know. Like, is it just randomly? Because it kind of takes away the magic of finding them all over the place. At least in my opinion. Unless it's post game. Uh, I do kind of want to take Ursaluna. Just requires to requires you to cut, have cut all uh, twenty eight. Oh, okay. That's a lot. That's a lot better than at least. Yeah, let's not buff him.
Oh, I fucking knew that was a stupid idea. Oh, what did I lose? Oh. Okay. Wait, is it all my potions? Uh, no, I got them all. Fall damage optional. Yeah, I know. I didn't expect to go flying vertically. Or flying horizontally. Fuck. Oh, the music changed when you're being hunted. What's, what is it like when you get near an alpha then? Music also changes when you're near an alpha. That's I, I really like that. Instead of having it revert. What in the world did you do? Look at the size of that rift. If lightning starts pouring from it, all the Pokemon in Hisui could be thrown into a frenzy. The entire clanic is in a panic now. I should have known that the only thing that could have come from that rift was disaster. I need help. Help? Ah, well, that's not exactly something I can do. It's not that I would... Wouldn't uh, like to help you, but it would put Irida in a difficult position. I truly do wish that I could repay you for quelling Cleavor's frenzy as you did. You must know that. But there's nothing I, al I alone can do for you. Warden Mai might have something to, uh, might be able to help you, though. She's a caring woman, after all. You'll most likely find Mai at the Warren Bridge. It's a very significant place for her. I'm certain that somewhere in the vastness of Hisui, there's a place for you as well. Oh, the water is slightly green too. That's interesting. Have you found out how to evolve Pokemon like Basculin and Stantler yet by pure chance? No, but I have evolved them. My, my, what a frightful sky. Such a disturbing sight would be enough to put anyone ill at ease. I don't know what broth is about, do you? I suppose it was too much to expect that you could have already have an answer this, to all this. I heard from our leader what happened. You can't return to that village of yours, can you? But I'm afraid the Diamond Clan cannot be the ones to save you. The Diamond Clan could end up at war with the Galaxy team if things went badly. I think you would regret that as much as anyone. The Great Weirder took a liking to you. I want to offer you my support, but... Forgive me, I cannot help you in this. 
Do not abandon hope. Time solves all things. And besides, you seem to have a talent for making your own way in the world. I have no doubt that you'll continue to find a path to walk. But asking the requires to take at least 200... Yeah. And then Weird Ear is uh, agile. Uh, what, what The one that bought... Like, out of all the nobles that I had to evolve, the Ursa Luna was the worst one. Because it's so fucking specific. Fuck, so none of them can help me. It's not attacking me, but at least it's nice. At least there's a little bit of hope in the world. Not, not in Crimson Marlins, just... Just Pete, because uh, I evolved mine in the uh, Coronet Highlands. Strange events seem to follow you wherever you go, don't they? Oh, hey, it's that Cynthia looking motherfucker. Oh, all right. Found you at last, final. I've been looking all over for you, you know? What would I do if I were to lose one of my favorite customers? Don't worry, I've already heard what happened. A good, a good merchant knows well the importance of staying abreast of all the latest news. Seems you're quite the pinch. No place for you among the Diamond Clan or the Pearl Clan. To say nothing of how poorly the Galaxy team has treated you. But not to worry. There's still corners of the Hisui region where we can stash you away in secret. I know a spot that will be the perfect hideaway. Leave it all up to me. Oh, he seems nice. But the peep block during a full moon and the moon full moon, you can barely see that the full moon half the time because you're staring down at Pokemon. Here we are. I know, I know, it's no pl palace, but you know the saying about beggars and choosers. Where am I? Ancient retreat. Well, that's a nice little place. Well, I like it here. You don't even need to be able to see the full moon? No, that's the problem. It's that you need to see the moon in order to, like, figure out where. Or, like, f figure out the time of, like, the, the lunar cycle. Shirking your work to come pester me again. Even beneath a bleeding sky, you never change. Always a pleasure, Miss Mistress Kogita. Kogita? But I'm afraid I'm not here today to learn more of Hisui's myths and legends. No mistress, thank you. Just Kogita. And this is... I... Th Was Cynthia split into two characters? Just do trial error until it says compatible. That's basically what it was. Oh, I final is the man of the hour. He's the one who quelled the frenzy of all the Pokemon nobles, believe it or not. Ah, the poor wretch you spoke of. Lost in time and space. Dear me, lost one. It seems I'll be able to fulfill my duty at long last, thanks to you. Duty? Indeed, I am to guide you, lost one, for the task of preventing the great disaster befalls to you. The rift in space-time must be mended, lest time and space themselves be thrown out of balance. I don't wanna... But come, you may enter my dear hideaway. There's much to be told. The space-time rift is said to be a portal to innumerable other dimensions. One such realm far and farther still from ours dwells mighty Sinnoh.
The expanse from antiquity to eternity and the expanse to all sides above and below. Antiquity to eternity. I like that, that uh, turn of phrase. Time traces the path we tread from the, from the here and now into the future. While space yawns all-encompassingly, surrounding us in every direction. You see, don't you? The two together, time and space, comprise all creation, the universe. How can one claim that either is greater than the other, as those two glands do? You really can. Perhaps the truth is clearer to a wanderer such as you, one who has known other ages. Now listen, lost one. This is what here is what you must do. Hisui holds three lakes of great importance verity, valor, and acuity. At each dwells a Pokemon said to embody one aspect of the mind. Complete the trials each will set to you and bear their gifts to the shrouded ruins. There you may see the red chain with it. Perhaps you can bind the world together. Bind the world, you say? You mean it won't close the rift? Kindly spare me your doubts, young man. I know the old words and what, the, and what they bid us do. How true they, they are isn't mine to know. Where are you? Sorry. Regardless of their truth, I am bound to pass them on. How callous of my ancestors to leave their legends to the children without a thought for the hardships it would cause them. But here we are. You know your duty, and you'll do it, won't you? Of course. There is nobility in knowing what must be done, and seeing to it. Your arc phone is beeping. Hi, Arceus. How's it going? You can see the location of the three lakes micro on your arc phone. I kind of know where they are. <laughs> Mistress Kagita got a lovely workbench here. And if you need materials, I'll be glad to help. I'm always happy to do business with you. Oh, the pastures. That's a problem, isn't it? What shall we do about that indeed? Was that a cry? Have we now lost... Have we now a lost Pokemon as well as a lost child? Do you see to it, please. How could I refuse you, ma'am? Off we go, final. If you ran around Irida and the Alabaster Icelands, the land behind her would glitch out. I don't know if this patch, referencing how Palki is the god of space. <laughs> there, was, there was one video I saw where if you did that around Irida... Uh, while well, looking at a specific NPC, the caller of that NPC would just glitch the fuck out. Hello, hello, it's an Abra. Where did you teleport in from, little fellow? And it's got a letter. A letter addressed to you, Final. Let's take a closer look at the letter. To Final, you may use my Pokemon as a go-between to access the pastures in Jubilee Village. I've also ensured that you'll be able to utilize our base camps without issue. I have every confidence in your ability as an adept survey corps member to bring this bizarre situation under control promptly. Sincerely, Silene. Silene does like me. I like Silene. That's what I was referencing the color glitch. Oh, okay. If you ran around adamant in the Crimson Marlins for half an hour, your time would have officially been wasted. For fuck's sake. That, that, that's a good one. Survey corps captain, Galaxy Expedition team. Good tidings from the letter, then? That's right. So now then, we're, so we're to visit three lakes. This sounds like an easy task, that's for sure. It would be wonderful to have a kind soul who might help us out. Quite the opportunities, aren't you, Valo? Such a uh, consummate guild merchant. I managed to reassure my people for now. The wardens are keeping a close eye on their nobles too. It seems all quiet for the moment. And so here we are. But still, we'll never, we'll never get away with openly aiding you. If we were to undermine the commander's direct orders, relations, relations would go strained. Long story short, we want to help without, without drawing attention, so it'll just be one of us. Me or her, it's up to you. Though the answer should be obvious. I like Irida better. 
Hi, Irida. Ooh, tea. It's an antique tea set. Corn. I picked Irida in my playthrough. I, I kind of like Irida better, to be honest. Uh, Adamant's cool, too. And I, I actually like Adamant, but I, th I think... I don't know. Of course you'll choose me. I was the one who got you what you needed when you first set out to quell Cleavor. You and I made his bombs together. Let me think it over. Obviously you'll choose me, right? Who gave you that celestial flute in the first place? That's right, it's this, this strapping gun, man. I was like, I couldn't decide, so I decided, uh, decided by the coin. Live by the coin, die by the coin. Makes sense. I, d I do kind of like Irida better. She, she's she's kind of cute. Uh, I was the one who... Oh, uh, yeah. I really this one. Yeah, I choose you. Just what I would expect of you, Final. You made the right choice. You won't regret it. So then the leftover leader will... Leftover? Think again. Final trusts uh, trust me enough to leave the tough job up to me alone. <laughs> I'll be keeping an eye on the commander so I can I can let you all, all know if anything happens. Of course, of course. The lucky chosen one comes with us to, uh, to the lake. Lakes. We can fill you in on the details as we go. Well, the first task will be to decide which of the Hisui's region three lakes, the Great Lakes, to visit first. But yes, we should get moving. I'd rather uh, we walk this road together, but if the commander were to get wind of it, it would only make things worse. I'll meet you at whatever lake, whichever lake we choose. All right, here you in final. Well, you two do what he's doing. I love how they're actually working together. This is this is nice. I, I like this. Try to like that. I like the key. Whatever. Something you need, well, you come to the right place. I'm a Ginkgo Guild Merchant, after all. Oh, shit, he's, he's selling things for relatively cheap, too. <gasps> oh, I can actually buy sticky gloves. Oh, it's so good. Oh, this is the kind of shit I've been waiting for. Oh, I just spent all my money. Nice. Wait, I have extra money. There, extra money. You could have bought the recipe from the Craftworks. I, I do have the recipe. But the problem is, is that I keep running out of, like, either apricorn or mud, and I can't, I can, I, and I can't buy either of them, so. Smooth. Uh... Alright, I think I'm pretty well in stocked. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll pick up some more potions. Just cuz. You can get spoiled apricorns at the farm, and there's 20 balls of mud that respawn in the volcanoes. That I, I have, but the problem is I, I went through them so fast that I needed, like, to buy a bunch. Where are you be heading? Uh, Crimson Mart. Oh, that's, that's interesting. This is where the tiny little uh, thing is. That's awesome. Okay, let's go to Crimson, uh, the Obsidian Fieldlands. Fuck, if there's no one thing Nintendo can do well, it's, uh, uh... 
it's uh, make music sound ominous. They say this at lake actually used to be a volcano. Then it erupted, leaving a huge crater that filled with water. And so Lake Verity was born. It is protected by a Pokemon called Mesprit. Uh, it was when Mesprit uh, took flight that people first learned the joys and sorrows of living. Or that's how the old tales go anyway. Your Arcorn is beeping. Mesprit! Arceus has a text for you. <laughs> Open the damn door. Oh, it's a cave. I bet you speedrunners will have tried to glitch into there. That cave, it just appeared from nowhere. Is that the arc phone the professor was going on about? What surprises White within, I wonder? Mistress Kogita seemed to be... I seemed quite intent that you should have to, uh, would have to prove yourself to all three of the Pokemon that guard these lakes. The challenge was never for the faint of heart. <laughs> Wee! <laughs> the air f feels somehow tense in here. Oh fuck! Hello, Alpha Gudra. Your Pokemon quelled Hisui's nobles. You can handle any battle final. Thank you, Irida. I hate how sad Gudra looks. Ooh, what is this music? Ooh, oh, this is this is tense shit. Give it Frostbite, please. Thank you. Uh-oh. I'm glad the frostbite worked in my favor. It's curious, but when I watched you and your Pokemon battle, I feel as if there's no obstacle that can't be overcome if people and Pokemon work together. Now let's see about the Pokemon of the lake. I feel a mysterious presence.
your emotions. Share them with me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> there yours. <laughs> I am now sad. <laughs> I can only imagine how it must feel to speak directly with a Pokemon like that. When you fell to this land, what stirred in your heart? Panic. How did it feel to bond with Pokemon and work together? Heartening. What did you feel when you mingled with Hisui's clans? What did you feel when cast out of the galaxy team? I felt better. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. It's a letter? Mesprit's plume. Oh, it's is it in in that? Proof that you've completed the trial set by Mesprit, the being of emotion that lives in Lake Verity. This item is needed to forge the red chain. Can I catch you now? Okay, later. I know that Pokemon spoke with you, yet the words do not reach my ears. It's mysterious, but I suppose when dealing with someone who fell from the sky, it's only natural to encounter mystery. Next, onto Lake Valor and Lake Acuity. Fuck, I can't change my clothes. Looks like that worked out well, Final. I must say, you know an awful lot about he, sweet fellow. I suppose like a merchant like you sees all sorts of things in their travels. That's right. You could say it's become a, because I'm a merchant, but mostly because mostly I'm just naturally filled with curiosity. I want to know exactly what happened in the past that led us to this particular present. Or more accurately, I suppose. I want to know where I came from and where I'm headed. I want to know my path, so to speak. Same goes for me. Our clan settled at this very spot where our forebearers once uh, beheld Almighty Sinnoh. But I... I've never seen Almighty Sinnoh before myself. Weighty matters... a uh, weighty matters ponder. Or to ponder, for sure. But we have an important task before us. Do you want to return to Mistress Kogita's home? Sure. Perfect. I'd like to see what she think what she thinks of our progress. Ah, Mistress Plume. So the legends uh, told it true. Then the red chain, mu red chain must be real as well. I beg your pardon, Kogita, ma'am. But what do these Pokemon that represent the mind have to do with this red chain? And why exactly should it bind the world? Your doubt suggests a keen intellect. I see you. I see you're not your clan's leader for nothing. Without the mind, were the rift to widen and the very world to end, would we even know it? One might save, uh, might, one might even say the world, time, space, and all creation exists only because our minds are there to perceive it. Perhaps the Red Chain's purpose is to let one see creation as it truly is. I, what? So the mind created, the, does the mind create the world? Isn't it the other way around? Or is it? Uh oh, we broke Yerda. <laughs> such, are the, such are myths, my child, teaching us about the world in their own incomprehensible ways. They are just to think more for ourselves, on the very nature of Almighty Sinon, and the nature of the world in which we dwell. You're absolutely right. Myths and legends are such fascinating things to study. In any case, all we have to do is complete the two more trials and we get the red chain. How nonchalant you sound. 
How confidence is success is to which you contribute nothing. Ha! You only ta you tag along only for the chance to gawk up more ancient ruins. Called out. Eh. Oh. I can't actually end the matter. Eh. Eh. That went right through her head. Where are we heading? We're going to head to... Uh... Bogbound. Ooh, that makes the, the red swamps even look more red. That's cool. Oh yeah, Rose, you here? Is he kicking about in chat? Do you know about Lake Valor? It's said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are no, there are also other theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. The slag is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs to be done, uh, what needs doing, was born in people's hearts. Or that is what the legend would have us believe. Azelf, your boss is texting you. Open up. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as as if just for final. That's it. Imagine strong Pokemon could wait inside, protecting the Pokemon of the lake. Take care. What an eerie space. Why would there be columns inside a cave, anyways? Oh, fuck trying to get this Pokemon. Fuck trying to get this Pokemon. Watch yourself, final. Those quiz look vicious. Okay.
I knew you could do it, final. Yeah, it was that one was way too easy with a fighting type move. Give the mysterious presence. Hello. Show me show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Oh boy, here we go. I love these battles. Wait, bombs. Are you are you meant are you meant to try to hit Az up with them? Seem, you seem, seem to hear a, a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? I'm not done with this. Oh! Did I, uh, sorry, it said I'm done with this. Whoops. Let me kick your ass, motherfucker! We abandon this folly. I'm not through yet. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? Give up. You struggle in vain. Will you yet press on? I didn't even hit it. Take this piece of the spirit to bind the world once more. Azelf's Fang. Azelf has fangs? That looked exhausting, but only one more to go now. I think that would have been better if it wasn't wasn't like a constant interruption. I threw ten balls. I assume all went well, final. Still, I wa must wonder, why don't they just give us the red chain? Why all this running about? Perhaps they meant to test whether those whoever seeks it is worthy. Perhaps you are right. Who knows what would happen to if it fell into the wrong hands, after all. Though, on the other hand, what use would uh, the, those wrong hands have for it? 
Who can, I, who can say for sure? Maybe the red chain has some other use besides mending the world. The red chain is as mysterious as this entire predicament we're in. But if we continue visiting the lights, we'll get closer to an answer. So shall we return to Mistress Kagita's home? Let's go back. Wonderful. Then we can see if Mistress Kogita has any more insult and in insights to share with us. Insults. So that's Azelf's fang. I sense a warmth to it. I do have to wonder if anyone else has ever completed the trials of these like Pokemon. Indeed. Yet we may want to add just a dash more speed. Things in Jubilife are tense. Uh-oh. What makes you say so? It seems a Pokemon's uh, been glimpsed on the other side of the rift. One of those uh, Ginkgo Guild merchants uh, informed me that Commander Komodo has raised a force. Not to survey the, uh, the Pokemon, but to subdue it. Should the needs arise. One of those Ginkgo Guild merchants. You make it sound as if you're not one of them. Is he not? Now if, if a Pokemon were to truly appear from behind the rift, what would become of everyone, I wonder? Don't let Heathwee's vast greatness stop you, Final. Let's go get the final item we need. That's the spirit. I'll come watch this historic moment unfold, too. Watch? Is that all you really do? Remember, once you've sought the third lake and found what's needed for the red chain, make for the shrouded ruins. Maybe I should have done Crimson Ireland's last, that way I could have just done... I want... I speak... Hope everybody's having a good day today. Dumbass, pick a side. So I have my I have my cat crawling on me. <laughs> I, I love that noise when you impact an angry Pokemon. Lake Acuity. You know, I've been told this actually contains a sea... that it actually contains seawater as well. Nobody knows why, though. It could be a fluke of geography, or perhaps it's connected to a Pokemon somehow. Lake Acuity is protected by the Pokemon Yuxi. When Yuxi took flight, the knowledge to solve problems was born in people's minds. That is the stories they... Uh, that is what the stories say, anyway. Yuxi, your boss is texting you, go to work. I know I made that joke or already twice, but I think it's funny as fuck. <laughs> a tool that can make caves simply appear from nowhere is quite a, quite a handy one to have. I wonder what awaits inside. I imagine there may be Pokemon in there, protecting the lake's guardian. Take care. I've had Gujra, I've had Overquill, I think it might be... My guess is Zoroark. 
based on the other previous two are just uh, variations or evol evolutions of ones that already existed. So this is chilling there. What is this? Uh, I knew it. Uh, fuck it. Why did you just call me a cow? Could could that be the dreaded baneful fox? I want to start off with normal, normal ghost, normal ghost, normal ghost. I think I want to start off with Lucario. Oh, that's... Hello. That's not what I meant. It's normal type, fuck. Keep forgetting that. Baneful Fox is a Pokemon set to be filled with malice. We were told stories about it as children. I feel a mysterious presence. Come, I will test your knowledge. Combi, Zubat, Unknown, Magneton, Dusclops. How many are their eyes? So Combi has six. Magneton has three. Tell me each one by one, yet yeah, all at once. Answer me. Can you repeat that? Six zero one three one. Six zero one three one. Take this piece of the spirit to bind to bind the world once more. That was really easy. Yuxi's claw. Poof. Amazing. You cleared all three trials of the lakes. You really are a wonder. Seems we finished the three lake trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the shrouded ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm ex always excited to, excited to uh, explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way.
The Shrouded Ruins. Mist is, is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. If we were to somehow bring Pokemon, uh, bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems to have made it in time. You arrived just when we assembled the, uh, all three gifts. Did you somehow see our progress across the distance dividing us? I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Could you mean that Pokemon that flits about the Hisui region? Flits about the Hisui region. Ah, but never mind that now. What about the red chain? How are we to forge it? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it can be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we to do? Search the entire vastness of Hisui for the answer? Ah, the Pokemon of the Lakes. Ooh. It's kind of small to bind the world, though. You received the red chain. See, I actually kind of like this. Because, like, there's the Grisius Orb, the Illustrious Orb, and the Adamant Orb, which have, like, really fancy names. But this one is just Color Object, so it's the Red Chain. Kind of makes it seem even more all-encompassingly important. Excuse me. So it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. You succeeded once again, Final. Yet, things do not seem to be going well for the rest of the world. What have you heard now? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is, is going to forego waiting, for the, uh, forego waiting for the investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. Has he lost his senses? He plans to get close to the rift to study it himself? Well, he doesn't know yet that our final has managed to get the red chain now, does he? That's true, there's no way he could. We need to tell him about the chain and everything that final has achieved before he sets out. Oh. So I'm immediately left, let back into the thing. Okay. Final? Why was she? What was she staring at? Welcome back. It's been grim here. We in the Survey Corps hardly speak to one another lately. With you back, maybe Captain Selene's appetite for potato mochi will return. Anyway, wait here a, mo a minute, will you? I'll go and let the captain know you're back. Oh, my dear Final. The professor has been awfully worried about you, Final. Of course I was worried, but I don't think I could ha hold a candle to the stress you showed, Akari. That's blowing it out of proportion. I don't think it's appropriate for an adult to make th uh, make things up just to hide their embarrassment. But um, where's the captain? Wasn't she uh, coming along with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Servant Corps office. It seems like it seems her hands are more full now that Commander Commodore's gone. Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the Security Corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. 
That's why I was filling in for the regular guards with Pikachu at the ready. Oh, okay, so she was standing there because she was a security guard. What a fucking depressed looking security guard. Hope she's okay, though. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. I need to change your fucking clothes. Fucking let me change. So he managed to not not to die, just as their order. <laughs> well done. Uh, you didn't die as I have commanded. Thank you. What a fucking what a fucking line. <laughs> Thanks to you, Captain. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you are here to uh, begin because you managed to learn something of use. Uh, I got this red chain. Go on. You explain about the red chain you obtained. A legendary tool set to bind the very world. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The Security Corps has been scouting the area near the Space Time Rift. They reported, reported something of some sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the Security Corps to the mountain as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at its peak. However strong the commander himself may be, he should have gotten final to help. As the captain of the Survey Corps, I hereby order you to proceed as follows. Final. Take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated as your former rank. Yay! Are you certain you can do that with the commander away, Captain? If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge. Nice. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together, we members of the Servant Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. I need to put on Mount Cornet. There's, there's a... Why does Lucario have a quest for me? Some of the matter, Lucario. I'm Rai. And you are? Okay, you're final. Nice to meet you. What is it, Lucario? It seems Lucario sensed your strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Okay. Dang, I was expecting Lucario to speak with you telepathically. I kind of was as well. I was, I was, I was half expected to be like, dude, I turned my, I, I've turned myself into a Lucario Rick, or I've turned myself into a Lucario Morty. I'm Lucario Rick, like the movie, yeah. I gotta put on my snow outfit if I'm going to the peak. <laughs> How's it going, Spug, anyways? Wait, I'm at- I'm here, why is- Why is he waiting outside here? I 
I take it ready for a battle. I'm ready. Now then, let's forego the small talk and proceed right to battle. That's our style. I'm doing okay, don't want to go to work tomorrow. I mean, that makes sense. Are you doing, like, are you doing okay emotionally? Like, or is just work just suck? That was a wonderful battle. Seems we need to redo our training, Lucario. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon, and that's helped make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Nice. Actually, while I'm thinking about it before I go any further, I should probably just, like, jack up all my Pokemon. Skez leaving soon, I want to stay home and hang out as much as possible, so I'm not too pleased. Oh, yeah. Are you going to be moving towards him eventually? Are, are you guys going to do the long distance relationship thing? Eventually, yes. I'm hoping June, July this year, but I can't be too sure. Well, I hope so too, because you two, in my opinion, are like awesome together. You're 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 one of my favorite uh, relationships going on right now. I'm sorry if that's a little bit weird to say, but I hope you know. You, I hope you know I mean well. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll be making sure that Ske is good boy. If anything, uh, I have a license, I have a passport, uh, and just be like, hey, final, I need you to go visit him and uh, kick his ass. You know what I mean? Thanks, besides that, I'm going to be stuck in my parents' house, which is in terrible shape. I always feel like the whole place is going to collapse. Is there no way to repair it? Who knows how much structural damage there is? Ooh. Well, hopefully, eventually, the either they'll they'll find a way to improve it, or find a way to get out. Is it bad that I see this menu and think of Breath of the Wild? This game is very Breath of the Wild heavy. Like, e even during, I think it's like morning time. It has the same kind of like piano notes as uh, as Breath of the Wild.
So are you, are you gonna be like on call with uh, Ska every day? I, I wonder how much that new Sonic game is gonna rip from Breath of the Wild. That I don't think it's gonna be ripping much. I'm excited to see what they're gonna do with the game, but uh, hold on. It, the problem is, is that it's not owned by Nintendo, so I don't. I personally don't think it's gonna be much. Attack, speed attack, special attack. Lucario is attack and speed. Napoleon is attack, special attack. Let's give it HP. Ursaluna will be HP. Attack. And... Gardevoir's special attack, Lucario's speed, Napoleon's HP, attack, there we go. I remember this summer you started Unleashed, but didn't finish it. I did finish. Oh, are you going to play the new Sonic game? Uh, I'm hoping to eventually, I if I can afford to. Yeah, I did. What, what, what was... I think, like, the final level took, like, an hour and 15 minutes. Actually, you know what? If you want, I can grab... I, let me... Give me a second. Here, I grab I grab the entirety of the I, I I put it into a playlist, so Alright, I think I'm ready. Nice thank you, no worries. Did you find the commander final? The commander is already at Mount Kalarne. Already? How could a grown man like Commander, uh, Com uh, Commander Komodo be so reckless? First expelling you final, and now this. I think he needs a stern talking to. As the leader of the Pearl Clan, loyal to a mighty Sinnoh who reigns all over all space, I can go anywhere in vast Hisui that I please. And now I'm going to go stop the Commander. Hmm, who's the reckless one? Hey, you got run out of the village, right? But you still tried to help us, uh, help a way to find us all, or help still, f still tried to find a way to help us all. Ugh, I can't speak. May twentieth feels like yesterday. Yeah, it does. Holy shit, was it May twentieth that I completed that? Fuck, dude. That's right. Final worked hard to get that red chain to help us. Too right, and a fine job he did too. 
The Cyber Corps is always hard at work for the sake of everyone here in the village, as well as for the sake of relationship relations with Pokemon. Thanks. Here, take this. Obtain an um, awesome Max Revive. Your orders are three. One. Make for the summit camp, and from there to the temple of the temple of Sinnoh. Two, use the red chain to resolve this mess. And three, return here alive. I can't believe she's related to Cyrus. I've heard the latest, so you've been, you've been accepted back into the Galaxy team, have you? I suppose congratulations are in order. Here, take some max potions from me to celebrate. Hell yeah. It looks like the big moment is upon us at last. But no doubt it'll be fine. After all, you worked so hard to earn that red chain. Both Adamant and Irida have headed to the peak as well. My good friend Final, I wish you great fortune in the battles to come. I would truly regret losing one of one of our most beloved and loyal customers. It seems Commodo intends to use the summit camp as a base of operations for this undertaking. As for me, I think I will set up shop closer to the temple itself. Oh you. Melly was it? Things certain, certainly seem to have gotten out of hand. Well, if anything goes wrong, the great Melly will be here for moral support, at least. You didn't do shit. She looks a lot like him, that's for sure. Yeah. Well, then I love... I, there's an Electivire up here. I love listening to its noises. Ow, okay, okay. Okay, thanks, bye. The hair clips, no? What? I gotta say, it is a def definitive, uh, definitely a cool effect with the sky. Melly's hair just clips through her forearms and chest. Oh, yeah. Side note, also supposed to be a guy. What the fuck is this mist? <laughs> oh, thank you for the Larpus laser. I completely forgot about that. This is the stone portal. I've been told not to let anyone pass. But really, I'm not sure what the point is any longer. Think you could go ask for me. Ha! It's been a while since people, somebody's used Larpus laser. Wow. Who the fuck is this? I was shitting myself about the hair to notice. Ha! <laughs> oh, potato mochi guy? Potato mochi? Oh ho, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shudder the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. I don't know if it's mochi or mochi. But the taskmaster Commodo's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. What the fuck? Make myself plain. 
as Commodore's right hand. I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds Commodo can't or won't do himself. I gave him my word I'll get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamado who longs to live in a new home fear, fear, free of fear or strife. His dream is mine now, too. Well, you've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you're meant to use them. Oh, fuck, I'm about to get my shit kicked in. Well, when I heard you managed to quell those other... Those nobles one after another, oh, did it ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that have been left to molder all these long years. I love his pants. That was a cool flip, though. Psychic? Not very effective. Was it fighting poison? I'm broken. <laughs> I'll kick your ass too, motherfucker. And a crit. Hell yeah. Seems my ninja techniques will, s will soon be consigned to history. Oh fuck, did I just kill him? Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It's only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target what they know they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. I might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, Final. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. 
Kamado and I saw our hometown burn to the ground by Madden Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Hisui to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to ex uh, take extreme actions. He had his hometown incinerated. Would that be like... Would that be like a Pokemon Legends Rayquaza? And that way you could have like a... a, a ground down incinerating a town? I think it would be fucking cool. Sometimes to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. As if, hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from within that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. Save Ka uh, Kamado from himself, by force, if you must. Do that, and I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi than a human stomach can handle. Now he's starting to kill me with food. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you with food. That's not what I meant to press. There we go. I just thought it was a really cool image. I kind of wish you could see all of Hisui. Well, I guess there's, I guess the Iceland's. There would probably be the the highlands. The other thing might be a little bit difficult to see. Well, this is it. Have you bought everything you need? I'm gonna scratch my ear quickly. Better take that red chain up to the top of the mountain. That Pokemon threatening to descend on the peak any moment now. I think it might be the old Almighty Sinnoh, but this has to be stopped, and you're the only one who can do it. Almighty Sinnoh needs to be seems to be nearly here, but the commander still obstructs us. Is this Spear Pillar? Oh fuck, is that the commander? He's wearing fucking armor, that's so badass. You again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume that to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? Trust me. Commander, please, be reasonable. I understand that you're bound to protect your people as commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. I have the same duty toward my clan. But doubting final like this, you're not just wrong, you're a fool. Perhaps you're right. I love that the armor noise shook when he shook, or the clank when he shook his head. But if I were to simply to pl uh, place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? You may think you're the only one desperate to protect the people of Jubilife, but you're not. Final is putting his life on the line as well. Fuck. 
Fine enough. Let fate decide what happens next. Which of us is stronger, or whichever of us is stronger, will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon, final. Today we battle in earnest. Oh crap, did I hurt you my Pokemon? The Galaxy Team's Commander, or Kamado, challenge you to battle. Fuck you, I'll do this myself. Oh. That was just agile style too. Clefable, Clef really? Poisoner fighting. Or poison or poison or um steel. You're fucking weak. Any Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Truly a force to be reckoned with. Final. The fates have decided. I concede. 
I apologize for sincerely for doubting you. Commander Commodo. I know I have no right to ask of you, ask it of you any longer. But please use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No. For the sake of the, uh, the Celestica people and all, and all the Pokemon living in Hisui. Okay. <laughs> Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. I love how his armor is like classic armor. Like I'm talking like European, European classic. She's not even looking at me. The commander is headed to the temple, but I fear the situation is already beyond our control. Wait. Weird deer and cleaver. Ursaluna Lenagant. Uh, Basque Legion and Arcanine. Sneasel and Electrode. Braviary and Avalog. That's so sick. I wonder what ha I wonder what I wonder just what was happening on the other side of that space time rift. So that this temple isn't here in the present Sinnoh? No, but I think this is Spear Pillar. So it's basically here, but I, I wish... It's a statue of one of the Pokemon that was said to have been loyal to the ancient hero. Wait, I have Ursaluna. Oh, hold on. Speak. Why? You'll see how it became spear a uh, spear pillar later. No spoilers. I've I font. Can you can you help uh, fix that? I I have no idea what you mean by that. Sadly. Wait a minute. These are triangles. Is there a Deoxys in this game? Oh, I don't think. Okay. You're gonna do this final? I believe in you. This is why I like you, Irida. You're, you're, you have faith, and you're kind, and you're sweet, and yeah. The moment has come. Come on, now's the time to use the red chain. Wait, what? What is this? There's a voice in my head. No. In my heart? It's speaking to me. You hold the red chain. Try to catch me, then. Whoa, Irida. Do you hear what you're saying? Catch you. Almighty Sinnoh? I think Almighty Sinnoh might be speaking to me. Uh, what? It's telling me you hold the red chain. Try to catch me then for the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Balls. Thank you. Mobile keyboard is a pain. Yeah, it definitely is. I, I wish... I don't know there's no way to fix it, but I wish there was a way to. Oh, fuck. Oh, 
Oh, now it is pissed. What? Playing through Gen 9 with the Hisuian Zorg feels like cheating, but I'm not against that in a gameplay standpoint. <laughs> Ooh, what is this music? Oh, by the way, you can get a Pokemon to move, you just walk into it. Go this way. Go this way. Go this way. Oh, now it's getting pissy at me. Uh, I don't know if I should kill it. Can I try this? Use adamant to help you, you would have encountered Dialka. Interesting. This is, I really like this music. Oh, did it just break apart reality? That is so cool. Hell yeah. That's it, you caught Palkia. Oh, I do have to catch it? Okay, let's get it then. He caught it, right? He caught Almighty Sinnoh. The red chain's been shattered, but we still got the Pokemon of the Lakes to thank for getting us getting this far. Oh, well done, Final, my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and caught your way uh, to a simply stunning victory. You are truly the pride and joy of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. Pelkia, Giratina, and Dialga in terms of coolness and moves. We'll have to see. I, I, I want to I wanna get, like, the other Pokemon to... S Wait, I haven't... Is Ginkgo Guild, like... I guess it's stupid. Can you hear Almighty say no? No, it's, it's called Palkia. Mighty Palkia is speaking to me in my mind. Space time grows chaotic. The power fails, the frenzied one, it now comes to fight. It comes now to fight. That is why I am here. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even Final could tackle another Pokemon as strong as that last one now. Is this Dialga? Oh, fuck. Gagyagooba <laughs> Bagwa. <laughs> All of you, we must vacate this. Gah, forget the fancy talk. Book it. Come on, we gotta make it back to the summit camp, but we still can. 
We need to leave before uh, this other almighty Sido decides it wants to fight us. But Commander, we can't just leave it here. You dunce, you won't be... Oh, holy fuck. <laughs> you dunce, you won't be any use if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get gone. Such dreadful power. It's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, Final. And did you notice the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems likely that a buildup of the same energy was what, was what caused that strange lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. So our two clans truly were following different uh, Almighty Sinnoh, but both were real. What a shocking turn of events. To say nothing of the shock of hearing the commander speak so differently. Yet yeah, dunce! I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you as fellow leaders, you saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in Final. And to you, Final, I acted on ill-considered presumptions that drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. Despite that, you still strove to save all of Hisui. Oh, and by the way, good luck. Oh, fuck. What? Okay. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ex ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We've left quite thing. Qu we've left things in quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell on the past, huh? Just what I would expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash decision, rash actions. Not to mention my loss, my loss of composure. It seems that having final about has been a good influence on all. It's only natural. Final is strong enough to defeat even this new opponent single-handedly. Whoa, whoa, slow down. Did you forget that the red chain broke? We'll be all right. Armed with the, the armed with the knowledge that mighty Palkia imparted to me. Palkia, Palkia the Pokemon that, that talked to you. Yes, it told me its name, but that's not all. It told me this: the stone of creation's beginning. The chain of red, the vessel of humankind's invention. Unite these three and calm the chaos now disturbing the flow of time. And then Mighty Palkia must go with us back to the temple, it said. Well, that chain of red is now is in pieces now, but those, if those little bits will do, I gathered those. Adamant, nice. The vessel of humankind's invention, I dare say that might refer to a Pokeball. It's got to be it, but what about that stone of creation's beginning? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that soothe? Then Warden Leon would be a fun resource, uh, resource to consult. Hey, what are your thoughts, Professor Laventon? Do you have any idea what the stone could be? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. Final, my boy. Could you lend me those plates you received from Weird Deer and the others? The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Okay. Aha, just as I remembered. Here on the back of the Earth plate it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the name of the material properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon uh, might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he'd been investigating it at Volo's urging. Volo's urging? Now that you mentioned it, that Volo, Volo fellows come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before too. This seems like a lead worth following. 
This decided then, thus begins our search for the stone of creation's beginning. Although the name is rather a mouthful, wouldn't you say? I suppose we can call it Origin War. Erdem, may, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Leon to the summit camp as once. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you all with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Boy, I want to punch you in your face. Now, Adamin, I see all the other louts have their little tasks uh, to be getting on with. But what of the great Melly? Where's my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of respect, wouldn't you? Fine, whatever. Just hurry up and give me a job. The great leader, Adamin. And make it a good one. You want a job? Fine. Your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping with the uh, keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. <laughs> Melly is a dick. Yeah, I hate him. Oh, Adamin. Oh, oh, you silly, foolish boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has a work they are suited to, and the work they are not. Oh, and before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Team Galaxy Grunt. Well done, you. <laughs> Fuck you. Take this as a reward from your, for your adorable effort. Just a way of my, encouraging the little people. And you're all so little compared to me. Fuck you. I have no fucking use for candy truffles. I brought Lee in. Yeesh, that ugly hat suits you as poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Yisui's ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was the first to realize the fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle. With that bumbling ball of yours. <laughs> Excuse me, that bumbling ball is more than capable of zapping both you and that ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Shall we prove it to you now? Melly, give it a rest and play nice with the Pearl Clan for folks for once, would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But, Adam, man. Everyone back home is all worked up because the Pearl Clan got to speak with to Almighty Sinnoh, or Palki, or whatever. Do you want them to hug all the glory? Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Let us set out what at once we make for the primeval grotto. Oh, I think I know what they're talking about. I've just... I discovered this weird wall in there, and I couldn't figure out what the fuck it was. Oh, and another side quest. Oh, thank goodness you passed by. Please, I need you to rescue my spiel. Its durable round body caused it to go rolling down the hill. Oh, no. And it's headed straight for this... Stone Tooth rolls and Boulder Roll Ravine. The Zora area is a full of dangerous Pokemon. The new Silver Core member everyone's talking about, right? Please help me find my steer feel. Fine. How far did this thing roll? Hey Gumbo Wallace, how's it going? Here today I spent 10 ish minutes f false swapping Magikarp so I can use the splash on gems. Oh boy. Oh, false swiping. Oh, 
Motherfucker. Anyways, Gumbo, how are you doing? So stupid looking. Oh, my goodness, feel I can't believe you rolled all the way down here. <laughs> You scored this field all the way here, right? Thank you so much. What are you doing down here? Please meet me back at the summit camp. I'll thank you properly there. Fuck you, stupid. <laughs> Thanks to you, I was able to find some feeling without, and it's without a scratch too. Here, this is for everything you've done. Ooh, nice. You're going to be more careful from now on, won't you feel? Oh no, it's rolling again. <laughs> okay, okay then. Curious cave. I feel some extraordinary power here, as if the very world as if the world itself was created in this very place. What do you think, Leon? Taking into consideration my knowledge of ores, my skill at mining, and the strength of this, my Sligo's moves. I think you'd better leave any extraction work up to us, wouldn't you say? Did you notice the wall of the fossils in the grotto? Yes, exactly. We're gonna have to ask you to stop right there. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, come on. Who's who's there? We don't have any time to waste with... Clover? We haven't seen you since you walked out on the clan. Where have you been all this time? I don't have to tell you nothing. Look, you can carry on digging out that treasure you're after, and then you'll give it to us. I don't know why you even look surprised. It's not if you, as if you were hard to follow. Well, what we seek may be as precious as treasure, but this isn't about how valuable it is. We need it to restore this awful sky to normal. Ugh, what that, that earnest goody two-shoes act of yours is what made me leave the Pearl Clan. Interesting. In the first place... Enough, I don't know why you ran off to play Bandit, but I won't let you get in Leon's way. Final, you take Charm. I've kicked her ass several times. Final, do you know how Lost and Found System works? I lost a ton of stuff, including a rare candy. Okay, so you actually need to activate uh, the internet connection and just let it sit. Other people have to find your thing for you. Kick your ass, final. I fucking will. If I friend you on Switch, can you get my satchel? For Unfortunately, it's not friend-based. It's based off of public, lo oh, public things. 
It's it's scattered about to the wind. It's whoever whoever technically gets it for you. I can check to see if it's uh, excuse me if it's a part of something I can do, but we'll have to see. Bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and ill luck to anyone who crosses our paths. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky charm, especially in this the battle of a lifetime. Fuck you! I'm gonna kick your ass again. You can find these gals all over the place, so. Okay, thank you, no worries. On day one, I was told to find the set of someone who ha with a hacked Pokemon website. Never did. Good. Fuck you. Well, you are rather formidable. Come on, Clover, why not come back to the Diamond Clan? Times are changing, we're changing, and you could we could really use someone as strong as you are. Are you joking? I've got no interest in, in living back in that place, with all its stupid rules. Look, we'll let you keep your treasure this time, but you do it, better do something about that sky. You are as strong as ever, Final. Maybe you can really do something about that monstrous creature at the top of the mountain. Why are Gardevoir's horns on their chest anyways? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Maybe it's like a, a like an organ to like like pinpoint the power into like a specific zone. Does it make sense? Kind of kind of like a uh, what is it? Uh, lightning rod just contracts or expels uh, psychic power. What if you do next time we meet, uh, you won't escape without a beating, remember that. Uh, Ali, I have a question for you. Where did you die? Honestly, let's see, what did, what did they even come here for? Beating whether or not I should make my awful joke. Make your awful joke. As long as it's tasteful. If it's if it's sexist or homophobic or racist, don't don't fucking do it. In fact, if you're thinking about doing that kind of shit, I will ban you. Oh well, I'll heal up everyone's Pokemon. The coin that I remember never hesitated to help someone in need. Even if she grossed as, as she did so. I suspect that they may have been worried about us. Perhaps even wanting to help. Then they should have just said so. What a pain they are, hiding behind all that attitude. I was able to extract some of that origin ore, or whatever you, or whatever you wish you to call it. I suppose it had better go with you, final. That's where teenage horny is focused. So obviously the horns are. <laughs> okay, that that is good. An ore of mysterious power, spoken of in ancient myths, and said to contain the power of Almighty Sinnoh itself. That was surprisingly easy. No, you simply fail to recognize my skill. You ought to be praising my hard work, honestly. I know we can count on you, Leon. No wonder Cleaver recognizes you as a worthy warden. 
Let's hurry back to Prof Mr. Professor and show him what we got. That Laventon's got sound judgment plus knowledge to spare, despite a silly streak. <laughs> that explain Gallade. Me. Well, have you seen Gallade's hips? Glade's got more hips than leg. So this is the storm of creation's being, the origin ore. Mm-hmm, yes. One can, one can certainly feel an opposing aura emanating from it. Could this be the, the feeling of the, of the very origin itself? I would mean to ask since you brought that up, but the origin of what exactly? Of everything by the sound of it. Exactly, my girl. Now then, back we go to Jubilee Village. Alright, Mr. Professor. It's all in pieces now, but this is what's left of the red chain. Splendid. Even in pieces, I think we'll find it still perfectly fit for purpose. We're jolly lucky to ha you had the foresight to pick up all these broken bits back at the temple. Your turn final, now comes the Stone of Creation's being. Fragments of the red chain collected at the great potential risk by the Diamond Clan. Stone of Creation's being, which we only learned thanks to the Pearl Clan. Now it's time for the Galaxy team to play its part and turn these items into a proper vessel. Akari, my girl. You are one of the one of our team's greatest craftspeople. Can I ask you to do the honors? This is my true battlefield final, even if it may be safe indoors. This may take some time, perhaps uh, the rest of you best wait outside while we work. Make a Gallade is cool and all, but eh, the cape? Why or why the cape? Cause it fucking looks cool. Why? Why? Capes look cool, and it, capes, capelets, cloaks, anything you wear around your back, uh, uh, on your ne around your neck, draped on your back is fucking cool. <laughs> Epic challenge: Search Guard of War and don't get banned on Twitch. Oh fuck. Capes are cool as universal. I give egg fuck exactly. Come on, Miss Professor. Wish they'd hurry up in there. I'm starting to suspect all of your paddling about the value of time is a cover-up for your own impatience. If sitting back and waiting actually solved things, I'd sit forever. Because that'd be uh, using time well, unlike this. We've done a final. It's complete. I dub it the Origin Ball. Ooh, that's fucking sick sounding. Unless that cape is used on a DC person, that's the only reason people consider them cool, to be honest. If the message is conveyed to our, to our good clan leader can be believed, then this should allow you to catch the Pokemon that has appeared at the Temple of Sinnoh. It's a fucking cherish ball. I do kind of like its uh, rough, rough look, though. I think it looks really cool. A singular and irreplaceable Pokeball that can be used to catch the frenzied Pokemon reaching at the Temple of Sinnoh. These Pokeballs of yours are are full of wonders. To think the fate of Fisa we could rest in something so tiny. Superman's cape is stupid. Yeah, but th think of what they would look like without capes. Think of how fucking stupid they would look. It's interesting how catching a Pokemon in one of these things brings the two of you closer together. Wait, please, I hear something. That voice is speaking in my mind again. You mean Palkia? Yeah. Yes, it appears that Mighty Palkia is willing to lend its own strength to us in this battle. Now that is what I like to hear. The Pearl Clan's Almighty Sinnoh, well I guess I should just call it Palkia, 
There's one fierce Pokemon. Everything's ready now, final. Take the Origin Ball and hurry back to the Temple of Sinnoh together with Palkia. Need Palkia in your party, by the way? Okay, thank you. I mean, I might as well. I'm cap of pride and all, but the super tight suit and half the heroes are just cringe. Yeah. Who the hell wears their underwear on the outside of there? Sorry, I was just amused by the sleeping crow gunk. Or the... Is that a crow gunk? Talks a crow. <laughs> Rasslers, of course, yeah. And again, good luck. Okay. Uh... So I just need to use Spatial Rend and then 3 Strong, 3 Agile. Okay. Here you are, lost one. Ready to face your fate amount atop Mount Corne? It seems like a vicious battle might await you. Oh, well said. Now hearken to my words, young ones. Time cannot be severed from space, nor space from time. The being you will counter at the Temple of Sinnoh is Dialga, ruler of all time. If it is allowed to run wild, time itself will twist and bend here in Hisui, and eventually the very world may be broken. Ooh. The Mr. Mime is just fucking going off, yeah. There, th I found out there's, a, there's an idle animation where it just like sits down in an invisible chair and cracks a beer. Dialga KO'd me six times, I swear it has less health every time it KO's me. Okay. But you have the aid of its counterpart, Palkia, the ruler of space, and therein lies hope. Bounce will be brought to time and space, and the world can once again be as it should. Now, take Palkia at your side and make for the Temple of Snow once more. I must say, this is quite the intriguing village. Perhaps I'll have a look around before I go. See what your clothier has on offer. Excuse me, is this the time for shopping? Well, I'll hardly have the time for shopping if the world ends, will I, young man? Fair point. Alright, final. Once you feel ready, set out. We make for the Temple of Sinnoh once more. Epic Engineer Ton Moment Bitches Beastler Shopping, yeah? release him. He's there on his own accord. <laughs> British Miss, Mr. Mime is epic. I, I hate Mr. Rhyme. I hate him so much. Oh, 
all the British Pokemon are epic, like British Meowth. I was never a fan of any of them, to be honest. And there's only like a tiny handful in Galar that I actually like. Or uh, not Galar, Alola. The fu- Just the boy I've been waiting for. I know you can buy various sundries at base camp, but I thought it might be helpful to you if I set up here closer to the temple. I want to have front row seats to if there's a chance to see the world of myth and legend. I'll probably be creeping in e even closer to the action once the battle actually begins. Oh, but you won't have, have to worry about me. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. And besides, I know all too well the strength of you and your Pokemon. I've got no doubt you'll have this whole thing tied up in, in a neat bow before I possibly could be in any danger. I hate all Mr. Mime forms equally without bias. Okay, but at least the... Like... The, 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 the Mr. Mime standard at least looks half decent. It, it, it still looks fucking weird as all hell, but... For so long, I thought that I had to eliminate any outside element that might threaten the people of Jubilee Village. Whether that meant to banishing you or seek and destroy the Pokemon of the temple, I felt it was my only path. But you've shown me that I was wrong to think in such a way. Are you ready for this challenge, recruit? I'm ready. <laughs> Final, in all of vast space, your place has found you. And what in the world does that mean? It's a Pearl Clan saying. It reminds us that occasions we must rise to are also stages where we all, where we may prove ourselves, where we might shine our brightest. So basically, you're saying not to feel nervous. I'm starting to see the appeal of how you Pearl Clan people think, in some situations anyway. We will support you in whatever way we can. I doubt you'll need it. Final, protect Hisu and her people. Protect time and space for her Pokemon. The only Gary Lantern form I really like is Fornito Rapidash. Weezing is fine too. Weezing, I think, is fun. Because it's actual top bats. But not really. I think that entire game kind of. Hold on, cutscene. Oh fuck, it just destroyed. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck? Ooh, what is this music? Oh, fuck. Alright, here we go. Oh. Oh fuck, this is a banger!
Oh, I keep... Ah! I knew I wasn't made that. <laughs> Punch it! <laughs> I don't think you guys defeat gods by having a child chuck things out for 10 minutes, yeah. Fuck that. That music was so banger, though. <laughs> Fuck, I shouldn't have looked at chat. Is this Draco Meteor? Fuck, I keep getting hit by those fucking waves. Oh. It's, it's got such a stubby little tail. Fucking... Doug will be like, oh, fuck. Nice. Final, could I beat you if you threw bags of sand at you in a bunch? I guess. He he caught it. He really did it, didn't he? To be perfectly honest, I died six times solely because I didn't know this way was on the floor. Problem is, it gives no warning about when they're about to be sent out. If it gave like a small flash or something, then I would appreciate that. My eyes aren't lying, right? He actually went and caught it. Oh yes, good show. What a catch, you contained that fearsome thing of the origin ball. Absolutely astounding as ever, final. Finally. Formidable as usual, final. Oh, and and we caused Kamado to cry. Kramado. 
So even the commander sheds a tear now and then. Never thought I'd see the day. Yes, what a sight to have witnessed. Ha! <laughs> Ouch, what gives, Commander? Not sure if I deserved a Sermothra. Um, well, at least it seems, to, uh, it seems this is no dream. Hmm. Listen up, all of you. We faced a calamity like any we have known, but we were able to overcome it by working as one. This calls for a celebration, a festival for us all. Gather to your clans, this will be the greatest celebration Hisui's ever seen. Do you think that Pokey has the exact same moveset in that noble battle? Maybe? I would love to try to challenge it. I'm also curious about like Palkia's second form is. Celebrate with the Diamond Clan? The two clans together, huh? Well, it turns out that we were both falling in the true almighty sinner of our own. I guess the times when we fought over whose was wrong or right was our ancient history now. I'm sure our ancestors would be shocked to see us agree. This may be the best path toward protecting the space we all share. Let us celebrate, for today dawns a new day for all those who live in Hisui region. Hmm. They've had Pokeball technology for like a thousand years. Yep. Oh, hell yeah. That was awesome. I really enjoyed this game. Even completing the Pokedex was not like an extreme chore. It was just actually fun. <laughs> Come out of once hug. <laughs> You'll have to see how dumb it looks when you get the item to change its forms. Okay. The game is over. How long have I been streaming for? I've been streaming for almost three hours. I'm going to go a little bit longer just to get like the post, some of the post game set and done. Haha, <laughs> doof. There's a post game story. Hope you enjoy that. Okie doke. I thought Irida was eating a Freezy. I liked how like there was a subtle nod to those two dating. Well, not subtle, but like, that it actually included it. I googled it and I agree the other forms look dumb. But now you've unlocked Daybreak. Okie doke. Boy, I want to punch, her, punch him in the face. I definitely liked her, though. Dialga looks cool, but Palkia looks dumb, okie doke. Well, I don't want spoilers. Holy crap, there's a lot of Pokemon modelers. I really wish I could, like, model a Pokemon. But I, I suck with character design. Doesn't look like Sylveon or Floatzel, therefore bet is fine. <laughs> Which you just battled with was Origin Form Dialga. How did you like the design? It was. Uh, it wasn't too drastic, which I like. It, it did have its 
interesting qualities. Like, I'm wondering... Well, I guess there is an origin form in Giratina. Wait, there was no Giratina. That's an adorable image. I love that. Can't say more about the Mighty Giratina without spoilers. The Roar of the Mighty Giratina Bishan. <laughs> Giraffe already has two forms. Yeah. Your arc phone is beeping. Seek out all Pokemon. <sighs> Okie doke. Good morning, final. Looks like the space-time rift has vanished. The sky's gone back to normal again. Which I suppose means we better uh, get back to our original mission, completing the Pokedex. We're going to meet in the Survey Corps office to discuss our next steps. See you there soon, Final. Anything good? Oh, there's actually more objectives. What the hell? You're the talented survey corps member I, asked to uh, I keep hearing about, right? I have a favor to ask of you. You know Orboro Tunnel, yeah? The tunnel near Obsidian Falls. Yes. Hoping to dig into the tunnel walls to see if I can find any good stone there, but a Pokemon's been raging about and getting my way. It's more than I can handle. Do you think you can tell me damn it for me? Sure. Thanks a ton. Please head to the tunnel once you're ready to calm down that Pokemon. Apparently you can find the Sinnoh and Legend Starters and the massive mass outbreaks now, so that makes my job of catching the Cyndaquil easier. Nice. I'm curious of what this is for. It's hard to guess what this uh, is supposed to do, but it certainly does look impressive. Is this DLC stuff? <sighs> Token of Gratitude. Medi of the Diamond Clan says she was saved by a mysterious Pokemon many years ago. Listen to her story to determine what, uh, whether there's anything to do in the matter of the follow-up. Okay. Apparently you can, uh, apparently you can just find Snow and uh, talk to Laventon. Okay. Or or not. So I trust you enjoyed yourself at the festival. I got fucking hammered. Indeed. That seems only natural given the crowd. I believe last night was the first time I've caught a glimpse of you merry making merry, Captain. I believe you must be imagining things. Now, Professor Laventon, on to, bu uh, to business. What is the current state of the progress on the Pokedex? I dare say we've made quite significant progress, all in all. Though we could afford to put a little bit more effort into our research tasks. And of course, it's hard to know how far to go in pursuit of some reports. Sir Pokemon have only been mentioned in Hisui's legends, after all. Who knows if they're even real? A little know with Hisui's history and legends. It seems a tall order for us to tackle. Burton Kurt couldn't help but over here. If Hisui and history and legends is what you want, then I'm your man. Why, well, I've spent plenty of time studying such things 
instead of um I mean while well, also tireless is doing more work for the Ginkgo Guild. And I've visited many times uh, of the ruins and whatnot here in the Hisui region already. I imagine I could teach you a thing or two about the Pokemon of Legend of these parts. Oh ho, music to my ears, my good fellow. Listen well, final, you are to learn all you can from the merchant follow and work together as needed. For the sake of the Pokedex. Okay. We, meanwhile, will also continue to gather intelligence on Pokemon by other means. Understood, I'll set up a I'll set up at the Heights camp then. Fine, I'll be expecting you. Besides, I've, I have something to discuss with you too, so I hope you won't keep me waiting. Okay. Fine, my boy, what's it? What say you take the Pokemon here in the lab with you on your excursions? Sure. Splendid, I'm sure you, I'm sure the chance to help with your survey work will be a delight to any Pokemon. Especially ones stuck in doors so long like mine. Cool, I can actually fucking finally do the rest of that Pokedex then. Wait, why is that guy named after a tree? I think he might be lavender, but that seems stupid. Unless there's a lavender tree, but I highly fucking doubt that. Don't involve them right away like my dumbass self did. No, I, I, I know what I have to do, but that's, that's kind of an off-stream off -stream thing that I'll do. Uh, actually. Ember Aqua Jet. So I just need to use four times each, and then I'll evolve it. No, I'll do that later. Someone found my satchel, thank god. Nice. We just completed the game. <laughs> Professor should be named after trees. I am walking to Pokemon HQ to fight whoever didn't name it after tree. Yeah, yeah, same. I, I don't I don't blame you for, for that. I I'm a little bit frustrated. Well GG, thank you. <laughs> oh no, there you are. I'm doing the post game now. Have a look here if you will. A long a good long close look, please. See those patterns model after Pokemon? I've come to think that they might be letters. Rather than like hieroglyphs, if you will. I've expected those ruins across expected ruins across the region and have included they all seem to tell the same tale. A tale of a brave soul who gathered uh who together with the Pokemon aside went on a journey to search for this fragments of an all encompassing deity. Me? Yes, an all-encompassing deity, the creator of this very universe. Oh, not me. <laughs> I want Professor Babinga. <laughs> oh, I guess that's why Hop wants to be a professor. Because it'd be like a Hop's tree. Lamentin is not named after a tree. The first professor in 26 years not to be named. Wasn't the X and Y one were somebody not named after a tree? Besides, there was Sonia's grandmother, who was also a professor. I don't know who she was. I'm still at the very beginning. Oh. <laughs> professor Bumpingo will be... I really hope that's the Gen 9 professor. That will be so funny. Yes, an all-encompassing deity. Creator of this very universe, and its name is... Arceus. Perhaps you've already heard the name. It does sound familiar. Of course, what else could I have expected from the hero who saved the Ihisu region? But now, let's discuss the fragments. They must surely be the plates. Yes, the very plates you collected as you went about quelling all the frenzied nobles. 
Haven't you noticed that they all have words carved on the back? So go on, give them a read. You read the text engraved on the back of the first plate you obtained. The original one breathed alone before the universe came. This original one is another than the Pokemon known as Arceus. Pretty sure Elm was a type of tree. Was it Professor Elm for that one? There was a professor that had a really weird name. So what do you say, Funnel? I think we should try to gather all the plates. Okay. And I've got the idea where to start our search. Join me in the heart of Grueling Grove. Where's Grueling Grove again? So we meet here again. I've been hearing plenty about your impressive exploits. But of course I've always known you would impress us, ever since you dealt with that alpha cricket tune for me. I've had my hands full as well. I have no idea why, but Munchlack keeps trying to run off in different directions. Munchlack's where you have to now. I'm not sure what he's so focused on, but he just up and disappears without warning. Keeping track of him has been quite the task. What was that just now? It almost seemed to be responding to Munchlax. The Elmer's glue. XYZ prof was called Sycamore and that's a tree. Then which one am I thinking of? What was uh, black and whites? Eric phone is reacting to Munchlax and displaying his destination. Oh, it's pointing to Rominus Island. My, my, isn't this exciting? I wonder if we're about to see another strange phenomenon sweep across Hisui. <laughs> I love how the poor Munchlax keeps looking back and forth. Or perhaps I'm reading too much into things. Could I ask you to visit Ramanus Island to shed some light on this new mystery? I'm actually curious about this one before, up above the main quest line. A new anomaly. Oak, Birch, Rowan. I think Rowan was the one that fucked me up. Also, Kikui. Is Kikui actually a tree? I think all in all, Kikui is the one that fucked me up. This seems to be the place Mice Munchlax was interested in. Oh, this is the daybreak! Better report back to Mai about the Zorua. Love how they bark. With your investigation, please tell me what you found. 
pack of Pokemon. It hardly tells me anything. What kind of Pokemon did you see then? They were Zerua. Spiteful Fox Zerua? Well, you came across rare Pokemon. I've seen them in the Icelands before, but not here. So that was it, Munchlax? You were curious about the Zerua? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Why did Game Freak break the trend of fire type starters? Last to check, neither chili peppers nor crocodiles were part of the journey of Zodiac. Uh, neither is, uh, what the fuck is a Cyndaquil? Was it a hedgehog? Porcupine? Something like that? Neither of those is a, is a Chinese Zodiac. Well, this is expect unexpected. It's too much lax now. And naturally, I would never fail to recognize my own much lax. It's you, right? Not the Munchlax next to me, the other one. Oh. <laughs> oh, that... Oh, no. Oh, that's so sad. I could feel the heartbreak of the poor Munchlax. People use Cyndaquil as, as a rat, so it's a stretch. That's a very much a stretch. It is not a rat. It's a quilled Pokemon, so it's, any, it's, it's, it's something with quills. Rats don't have quills. So it was Zerua. How odd for it appeared to in the, in the field lens. My only hope is that this is an omen of something unpleasant yet to come. As a precaution, it might be best for you to report this to your captain. I mean, Charizard is not even the right type of dragon. It's not even dragon type. Oh, I'm in the completely wrong fucking area. Gyarados is more like the right one. Western dragons are cooler than Eastern dragons. I'm kind of in agreement. I'm not the biggest fan of serpentine dragons. Dragon, but it's not a Chinese dragon. It's normal Western dragon. Yeah. Can't believe I did that in one flight. I like wyverns. <laughs> now, final. According to my own investigations. What? An Alpha Vespa Quentin? Terribly sorry, Final Buds. Do you think you can handle it? I just wanted to use Spatial Rent. Again. Then again, Fennekin is a Fennec Fox, which isn't a canine, but Volpines are a part of the same animal kingdom. I wouldn't count that, to be honest. People are stretching way too hard. <laughs> uh, bees? 
Peace. You obtained the stone plate. Oh, that was kind of anticlimactic. Why did that alpha Pokemon have the plate we were looking for? Maybe you just happened to find the plate lying around. In any case, that's the only other plate that I had any information about, so that's that. And nothing seems to be happening, which makes me su suspect there might be still more plates uh, left for us there to find. Not to worry, though. I know the perfect person to ask. She's bound to know ask all about plates. Mistress Kogita. I didn't hear if he said would or wouldn't. What do you mean? Would or wouldn't what? I I said I wouldn't count them because it's it's way too much of a stretch. The one and only Mistress Kogita, yes. You haven't had the chance to properly thank her for helping in obtaining the red chain. Am I right? All the more reason to pay her a visit. Onward to the ancient retreat. Where am I? Oh yeah, it's a Heracross. Oh, he's gonna make me report data, isn't he? Two, four, six. Okay. It's not really a stretch since foxes are usually it's called a type of dog. I, it seems way too much of a stretch considering like half the other Pokemon anyways don't even count. The only stretches people have made that are Cyndaquil as a rat and Fenico as a snake. But the problem is that even Charizard doesn't or Charmander doesn't fit. I guess Litten might. But if that's the case. Then now, now we're basing it off the final evolutions of 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 uh, of uh, fire starters, and even even then, Typhlosion's so fucking far from a rat. I, I I don't think the fire type Zodiac is a thing at all. I mean, does Spain even have native crocodiles? Is that where the, the new one is based off of? Or the new Gen 9? I heard Gen 9 was based in India. Or a South African uh, country. The other theory is just a few coincidences and a lot of stretches. Basically, and that's that's why I think it falls apart greatly. Oh, lost one. It's a miracle. It's miraculous what you've done. Seems the red chain served its purpose well. You carried out your duty as you were bid. What brings you here? Have you yet need of me? It's about the plates. Ah yes, a tale whose origins lie a millennium or two ago. Those were the days of the ancient Sinnoh people, from whom I am descended across many generations. These forebearers of mine worshipped Arceus as the Pokemon that created the Hisui region. And I have yet, and I have heard certain fragments, plates as they are called, that were given to the ancestors of Pokemon such as Cleaver and Weirdeer. Is it all? I thought 
surely you could tell us more about Arceus and the Blades. I'm afraid I have nothing new to tell you. Why, the Diamond of Pearl Clans could never have confused Dialga and Palkia with the creator Arceus and anything concrete passed down, been passed down. Only a bit more to go on. The answers to these mysteries may even shed light on my final fear from from this guy. I see what you intend. Very well, I'll help as best as I can. There's still other tremendous Pokemon in Hisui, other mysteries yet to be solved. Whether they're connected to Arceus, I cannot say for certain, but in searching them out, perhaps you'll stum stumble upon the path you seek. Let me think. We need another region based on the UK. You already had one. We should have a region based on Canada. <laughs> More specifically, the dead fucking frozen north of Canada. Nothing but ice Pokemon. Spain and Portugal? I have, I'm, I guess it's a mix of everything then. I'm hearing Spain, Portugal, India, South Africa. Personally, I'd love to see a region based in South Africa. Imagine the savannas. The savannas, the canyons, the coastland, the coast, coastal lands. The Pokemon of the Lakes, of course, and the Temple Giants, the Crescent Moon, the Volcano. Perhaps we even return to the very beginning. Now then, what what would you have heard of? Three Lake Pokemon. I ask you already know. Go give them your thanks for the red chain and show them how strong you become. A volcano. Where, what could that be but Fire Spit Island? Yes, the moon. You must go where you may meet the moon's gaze unobstructed. Does that clue illuminate your path? Well, make for the Coronet Highlands for now. Moon view. Okay. Temple Giant. Japan has like four regions. The UK should at least get 12. <laughs> Treasure Dragon, Infernate Monkey, Blaziken Chicken, Del Fox Dog, Incineroar Tiger, Typhlosion, Rat somehow, uh, Embor for Pig. Unova was Embor. I really, I don't think Charizard fits. I don't think Typhlosion fits. Oh, I just popped off my fucking control stick Blaziken is weird mainly because it bases it off Torchic Blaziken isn't even related to a chicken at that point it's bird like yes but I don't think it relates to a chicken well, I guess it can is chicken I don't I definitely don't think Del Fox is dog the only bad region is Gen 6. Which one is Gen 6? Is that Alola? Secret looks inside Snowpoint Temple. To find it, you must open the door that is sealed. Now then, what would you hear of? In the beginning. Did a beginning for you, certainly. What was it where you felt first felt to Earth here? Now then, what would you hear of? Never mind. Yes. Very well, last one. The rest depends on you and your efforts. Gen 6 is Kalos. Oh, that's XYZ? I hated XYZ. Or XY. It appears that the opening of the space-time rift compelled Pokemon that might otherwise may have stayed hidden to come out and see what has befallen the world. I hope you succeed for the, your own sake and for the, the, the Pokedex you labor on. I know we could rely on you, Miss, uh, Mistress Kogita. That's more than enough information to work with. Now let's find those plates. Alright, let's go to... Just as I suspected, Pokemon are the key to our search final. If we can gather all the plates from them and decipher the message on the back of the plates at last, perhaps we can meet Arceus itself. You should go to, for the Pokemon that Kogita mentioned final. I have my own avenues of research that I like to pursue. Arceus, creator of all Hisui. I truly can't wait to see what kind of Pokemon it might be. Defense of the Charizard is a dragon, of course it fits. <laughs> what 
What do you mean it's the wrong type of dragon? It's not even the dragon type, and it's the only final stage that looks like a dragon. Of course, it's a fits the dragon slot. It doesn't even have dragon in the name. It has lizard in the name. I think fans are looking, are like reaching and looking too much into it. I had a message, uh, I had, I've had a message from Miss, Mistress Kogita. Soldier collecting plates of some sort with a merchant follow. Then we must go to Prelude Beach. Meet me there. Alright, Commando, Commando. Grass types or plant isn't a theme. Yeah, Torterra is a full fucking world. All grass types have some sort of put them as a plant. All water types have been able to maneuver on land. Fire types are apparently based off the Chinese zodiac. Unless final has any better. Ch I the fact the the fact that all all grass types are plant is really 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 fucking weird to me because it's it's a grass type. It's like saying that like I don't know. Gloom should be a starter because it has a plant. And the water types maneuvering on land is just a normal thing. All water type, quote unquote, can maneuver on land. Even Magikarp can splash about. I, like I said, these trends, people are looking way too much into them. Prelude Beach, indeed a place of beginning. Now is not the time for words. Face me in battle. Okay. I'm gonna kick your ass again, old man. You must motor t most water type Pokemon can't effectively move around land. Uh, yes, they can. Also, final fans are always look too far into something. You shouldn't be surprised. Well, that's not. Uh, that's I'm not surprised, but it's just I don't think it's something to go on. If that makes sense. Trust me, if once once I develop a game and someone's gonna look too much into something in my game, I'm gonna be like, no, it's just for shits and giggles that I did that. There's, there's no, I, I hate it when things have to have a deeper meaning, and I think that's why English classes ruin a lot of things. As you knew, there's a mute under the truck that I did. Wasn't that based off like an internal coding glitch or something? Legit. Non-event way to get a Mew in Gen 4 was depositing 999 Geodes Pokemon Ranch on the Wii. 
Really? Why did it go three times? Alright, fuck you, we're doing this. I feel like these people that make the weird Pokemon theories also bash with people like Game Theory for stringing together these series. Yeah, I, I think so too. Who votes we should blame Matthew Roger Patrick? For some reason, I've always wanted to keep calling him Matrick Patrick for some stupid fucked off reason. Pad has the whitest names ever, and I mean this well. Maybe? Get fucked, old man. Matt Pat, or er, he has three first names for a name. <laughs> Even frightful creatures like Pokemon can be powerful allies. You've grown even stronger since we faced one another on Mount Cornet. It's clear you do not view Pokemon as dangerous enemies, but rather as trustworthy allies. Allies with whom you can reach great heights. Perhaps you are a divine being yourself, sent to bring us gifts from above. Here, you should have this. I love how he's got clamshell gauntlets. Fist plates. When the very first of our Galaxy Expedition team, myself, Benny, and the others, set foot up uh, on Prelude Beach, we found that plate. Clearly held some kind of power, and so I kept it safe all this time. I find it fitting that I should now end up with you, who likewise arrived here on the same beach. Perhaps something is guiding us. Indeed, it must be so. You and I, Adamin, Irida, it appeared we're all being guided by the, the, by the one called Almighty Sinnoh. Hmm. Might be appropriate to call this region the Sinnoh region. Oh. I know I've got, I have no right to say this, but we are truly fortunate to have been able to count you, count you among the Survey Corps ranks. If you had not joined us, we would have fallen on Mount Coronet. We would have lost our home. We would have lost our future. Now then, carry on with the survey work. The knowledge that you care, uh, collect about the wild Pokemon of this region will serve to illuminate our path forward as we walk into the future. Matt Pat said Sansa's nest. What an idiot anyways as of saying this fox Pokemon is totally a dog and cynical is totally a rat. <laughs> uh, it's not I like that. So saying that people are saying foxes are dogs is, is... I'm still saying that people saying foxes are dogs is just human ignorance and not looking too far into things. 
No, it's I'm saying like in in general that entire thing is just lo to look looking too much into things. <laughs> Foxes are clearly rodents. <laughs> Based on Kogita's hints, it seems there might be four more plates for you to left for, for left whatever. Look at this, look at the cabbie bar, that's a rodent. Is it a rodent? Mass, for massive mouse outbreaks, you're on a time up, by the way. Okay. Squawk, squawk. I bet speedrunners are trying to, like, break into this thing. Use HM fly. <laughs> oh, it's green in here now. Was it always green? Too easy. <laughs> There's two more like Pokemon left to be caught. Oh, that was so fucking stupid. There isn't one already. There should be a teleport HM that just fast travels. There is a teleport that lets you exit like mines and whatnot. Fast travel is cringe in most games. Why is it cringe? Well, before I do, did I see that right? That Palky is done. Palky is done. Okay. Wait, what am I doing? I fucking need... <laughs> the catch rate these these things are insanely high. And do you mean they have... Everything has, a, has like a much higher catch rate. And I think that's why drive-by balling is so like such a fun thing to do in this game. Just run at top speed, toss a ball, and keep running.
Pro tip, shiny alpha hunt spear tome outside of mass outbreaks. It totally won't be painful. Oh boy. Is shiny hunting even fun? Kind of. They make it a lot easier. Because as you're running by, because you don't have to go into like constant fights to see if it's a shiny or not. You just get a fun little jingle as you pass pass by a shiny and you go, oh, I know where one is. Uh, let's go to Cobalt Coastlands. Shiny is not fun in any of the Pokemon game. Oh, what's going on here? The festival attended by everyone in the, in the clans and galaxy team alike. Oh, it was wonderful. Being able to spend time with Ixen in front of everyone was like a dream come true. <laughs> Final, Lena. Ah, I'm sorry, Polina. Here is something she wants to discuss with you. That's right, you should also hear this, Irida. It seems something is once again very much amiss on Firespit Island. Oh, Firespit? Oh dear, you seem reluctant to get involved. It's just very hot there. My, you speak in such disparaging terms of the seed that my lord Arcanine calls home. And to think you call yourself our leader, Irida. No, no, uh, Lena, I didn't. Oh, stop with that silly old nickname in front of others, won't ya? I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. It's just an old habit. Mm, how are you going to eat? Okay, Gumbo. Hope you enjoy your meal. Get something substantial. Truly, please hurry. I might melt out there. Seems Arcanine has settled into his role as Lord quite nicely. He's learned how to control his frenzied might and can use it in battle at will. I'm sure you two could learn from each other. What would you like to do? Oh, cool. You can fucking rematch these? I thought I was out of the way there. Oh, it's level 70 now. Ooh. Avoid taking damage, you get more rewards. Oh! I kind of want to try the little again fight because I really enjoyed it.
Oh, I thought it was farther away. I'm fucked. What's going on? I can't. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Why do you call it a uh, few cocoa? Isn't it Fenico? Fenican? Pokemon Legends Archie spoilers. Melly sucks. He is awful. Yep. Alright, final. Arcanine is really going strong, hasn't he? You won't do well getting this far. That was so awesome. I, I love that. I can't wait to constantly con f uh, fucking refight him. Few Coco. Oh, Few Coco. I was gonna say. Does not lose its like when evolving. The Chinese object theory can be confirmed to be false for Pokemon. Okay. Well, final, thank you for coming so far out of your way. Er, Warden Ixon. Wasn't Lena joining us? Oh, yes, about that. Um, seems she wanted to, some time with her lord, so she has to check the Lavadome Sanctum without her. What the nerve of? She knows I can't stand sweltering places like this. I'm sure she meant no ill will. The warden of the Lord of the Isles is such a kind, gentle soul. Anyways, final, shall we go? Might as well get this over with. Gen 9 Setters are Sprigatito, Fue Coco, and Quaxi. I kind of like the name Quaxi, but I don't, I don't know if I agree with the design. It's ironic for Fue Coco since neither chili peppers nor crocodiles are native to Spain. But we do, do we even know if it's based off of Spain? All we've seen is a trailer. Careful, final. Oh, hello there. And the iron plate. Nice. Whew, at least the heat's let up a bit. With both the Arcanine and Heatron spewing flames about on the volcanic island, it certainly does get a bit toasty. Warden Ixon, I have to ask, do you think there was any need for, for any need at all for me to be here? Well, um, yes, of course there was. After all, you're the leader of the Pearl Clan, and this uh, double cropped up right around the city that one of your clan's nobles, so I'm... Um, yes, it was really best for you to come see to it. Admirable of you to look for after your clan and his affairs. Do you really think so? I was wondering if it just might be... might not be revenge for all the times I pushed Alina to train her growl with harder. Uh, that's surely not the case. Born Polina may have mentioned something about the need for, um, tough love. I thought so, to think she was so patient and kind with Growlithe, but when it comes to me... 
Well, finally, you did great. We'll um, just head back ahead of you then. Now you need the ice plate? Yeah. How long have we been streaming for? I guess still got time. Alright, now I head to. I always think Lee Heedron looks kind of funny. I wish there was more decent steel type legendaries. Also, Rose, I gotta ask, do you have BDSP? I don't have okay. I'm trying to see if I can find somebody that has uh, the legendary from for BDSP because that, that's what I've heard. And I'll uh, at a trader for my my Pokemon. I don't know what I'm getting because apparently you need the sword and shield one. I want to. I want a face. Yeah, we're just doing valiant, uh, radiantly well. So, child, what do you want to do? Let's have a rematch. And then on behalf of Warden Arezu. Lady Lilligant, kindly honor this challenger with a battle. Requires, oh, okay. Got Oh fuck, it might have been better to get out uh, Guard of War. I like Kisu and Lilligant more than the original Lilligant. I like both designs. But I think like the the activity of this one uh, works a lot better.
Oh fuck, it get impact? Oh shit. Nice, took no damage. What do you think the box art legend for Violent Scarlet will be? I have no idea, but I'm kind of not looking forward to it. Because I after after Sword and Shield and like the DLC legendaries, I just, I was severely underwhelmed by those. Like, I, like after, what was it, X and, no, yeah, X and Y's like life and death Pokemon. And then like, so basically, Hoenn, or the Gen, Gen 3 had, uh, the creation Pokemon, which was uh, land, earth, and air. Then Gen 4 had time, space, and existence, and antimatter. Gen 5 had uh, logic and emotion. Gen 6 had life, death. Uh, Alola just had, I guess Alola kind of botched it as well. Yeah. Like the names don't give anything at all away. Yeah. Could be like Blood and Shadow. That'd be cool. Like Legendary is more for the lore than designs mostly. I guess. But that's the problem is that anything past XYZ had really shit lore for Legendaries. Like, oh, these are just the Guardians. Like, spoilers, when Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon came out and they introduced uh, Necrozma, I thought that was really interesting. Like, a Pokemon that just eats light. Okay, this is victory after th uh, 3 minutes, 52, 21. Here, this is for me. Also, Warden Rezu had a company, uh, message for you, keep Lilligant company. Nice. So, Galea and Luna are, are not really legendaries, they're just aliens that ancient people thought looked cool. I mean, they're still technically legendaries. They're just evolved legendaries, which I thought thought was really weird. There are legendaries on the same level that uh, they thought uh, uh, Deoxys was a legendary. And it is. Hey, final. If it isn't a final. Good time. You found some treasure you'd be interested in. That make your ears perk up. Happy to fill you in if you're curious. Yeah, I'm curious. So a, that's the survey core spirit. Curiosity would move science forward according to a good old Mr. Professor. But to come to think of it, what I found seems too valuable to just let you in on it for free. You need to work a little. Here's the deal. I want you to show me what's in your mind, your heart, your soul. In short, battle me. Okay. Type null still has no lore. It just questionable corporate decisions. Same could be said with Genesect and Mewtwo. I'd actually like to see that kind of battle. Type Savali versus Mewtwo versus uh, what was the other one? <laughs> Genesect. That's not time to see what you got. You're coming knowing full well how tough you are for the future of the Diamond Clan.
Why don't Agile style that? Yurda else has a battle request, okay. Oh, come on. And for the final battle, all I can say is good fucking luck. Final battle? Uh-oh. Well, I'm going to be doing the final battle on stream. I'm just going to collect the two uh, two legendary spirits. That way I have something to work on off stream for grinding. You're really something. And I'm a man of my word. So here's that treasure. Adamant crystal. Oh. This used to be my grandfather's. He said it was deeply, uh, he said it was somehow related to Almighty Sin, I mean, the, to Mighty Dialga. And so that I put you through the ringer a little, it seems, it seems right to give you, t since you're the one who caught Mighty Dialga. You know, I ought to tell you, I'm glad it was you who fell out of the sky to us. You taught me another way to get along with Pokemon, another way to relate to the world. Redeeming qualities of Medi? He's got none. Melee. Some people see Sim for Melee? Really? Why Why do... Oh, Shrimp. Shrimp is an acronym squirrels on my pants. <laughs> I don't get that. Like, I don't get why people shrimp for that kind of person. The person is an asshole all the time. Like, what? What is so attractive about that kind of thing? It's... They're, like, rude. You mind people sh uh, shrimp for William Afton and FNAF? Why? Why are people like this? It's like the same people kind of uh, shrimp over serial killers. Like, why? Why the fuck? My distaste for the human race is not baseless. Understandably so.
Might want to build it while you're at the Icelands. Okie doke. But get Pelka so you can see its origin form. Uh, okay. Pocket is already in your party. I just moved it. Hello, Final. I was just about to go and find you and tell about this precious, incredibly precious thing I found. Are you curious? Tantalized? I am curious. As you should be. There's a single person in all of Vast Hisui who wouldn't be interested in treasure. But anyways, before you show you, can I guess what I want to do? Do you want a battle? Yes, exactly. I want to be able to achieve feats like yours. Like what you did atop Mount Coronet. Now give me one moment, I need to center myself. I did warn you that the red Pokemon are buggy. Uh, maybe a long time ago, but I forgot. I was also the first glitch I've ever encountered with Ride Pokemon. The partners and I are going to get stronger and travel all across this wide world. Can you cannot convince me that it is a flute, it is a texture of a cylinder? I mean, maybe. But then again, like, what would they have to, like, use? I don't know. completely forgot about Flame Thrower. Uh, I thought Lucario was a psychic type for so long, or it sounds like a psychic thing. Yeah, but... I 
I mean, these, it feels good nuking these things from high orbit with, with Lucario. Caused me such fucking agony for the longest time. Melee goes is so hard to catch and like, especially Espion and Umbreon, I was like, oh yeah, you have to travel with them and get them to do things in order to level up their friendship. And the one time I was trying to level up an Espion, I got another Sylveon because a fucking thing decided to learn baby doll eyes at the last fucking moment. I wonder, final, are the people even stronger than you out in the world, with Pokemon stronger than yours? I just have to find out for myself, I suppose. Here, the treasure I promised you. You, s you obtained a lustrous globe. Excuse me. Interesting. I'm told this, this once belonged to the founder of the Pearl Clan. It's somehow connected to Almighty Sin... Or, I mean, Palkia, I mean. Since Mighty Palkia is with you now, I'll entrust the lustrous globe to you, too. Thank you, Final, for everything. Yay. Alright. Oh, that is grotesque to look at. What the fuck? What in God's green earth were they thinking designing this thing? Yeah, why doesn't it have arms? That's fucked. I I I I prefer to one of his bipedal. This no, nah, I can't stand looking at this thing. Shoulders, no arms. Yeah, that's what the fuck. I'll fight fire with fire. By fire, I mean God. By fire, I also mean God. <laughs> Anyways, good night. All right, take care, Rose. That that was so fucked to look at. I I have I. I'm so sorry, Falcon. I me. I'll I'll re I'll revert you to your good-looking stance. See, that's not so bad. You at least look half decently now, and you have arms. You have fucking arms. All right, now on to like cutie. Let me catch this one thing and then we'll call off quits for the night. in the Draco plate. Huh. Neat. All 
Alright, so next stream, I think I'll be finishing this up. Getting the two last plates and seeing where we go from there. Off stream, I'll probably be grinding to, to finish off the decks for uh, Uxie, the trio, Mespert, Azelf, Heatran, and Dialga. Just so I can get them over and done with. Anyways, uh, let me. Alright, let's figure out who to raid. Uh, let's see. We have Bathwater Bro, Dunkachi, V Turnup, Avery Alexandria, Polar Oak Red. Oh, Avery's, Avery Alexandria is doing a charity stream. Let's rate them. Anyways, I hope everybody has a good night. Uh, let me drop the Discord. Discord. Nope, fuck. Discord. And my YouTube for any VODs you want to watch. There you go. Um... What should the raid message be? There, here's here's he'll he'll be the raid message. Avery, get in the damn ball. <laughs> oh no, it's bag. Now ball ball's better. Uh Hope everybody has a good night. Uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'll be doing. Uh, I might take it easy. I'm not entirely sure what, what my plans are, but hopefully things will work out, as they usually do. Um, but yeah, as I said, hope everybody has a good night. Uh, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care.